That's right. You see, Vice President Kamala Harris was among one of the many elected officials here on the campus of Central Connecticut State University, continuing that conversation of reproductive rights. Hundreds gathered Wednesday afternoon on the campus of CCSU to listen in on the conversation revolving around reproductive rights with Vice President Kamala Harris. For these fundamental rights of freedom and liberty and dignity and choice. Congresswoman Johanna Hayes and Alexis McGill Johnson, the president and CEO of Planned Parenthood Federation of America, joined the VP to discuss various topics on the matter, all three women sharing their input. It is critical that we take action to enshrine women's reproductive rights into law and protect the health and well-being of all women and all people. While also hitting on what officials believe is an essential but timely dialogue. We're looking at, I think it, now a dozen states at least, mm -hmm. that have banned, essentially banned abortion. And what is that going to mean? There's still a lot of confusion. Focusing on topics from the Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade to access to essential care here in the U.S. It's not just about access to abortion, right? It's contraception. They're coming. They're literally trying to hold people hostage in their states with these right to travel bans. To the black maternal health crisis where Harris said she's very proud that for the first time have elevated the issue of black maternal health to the state of the White House. But there's still much needed work. Black women three times more likely to die, Native women twice as likely, women in rural America one and a half times. When it comes to racial bias in the health care delivery system, we know that is a huge contributor in particular to black maternal mortality. And while talk of change is underway ahead of the discussion, Governor Ned Lamont noted that Connecticut has federal support for reproductive rights. The state of Connecticut said, look, if somebody's being denied their rights in Texas or Arkansas or someplace else, you can come to Connecticut and exercise your full reproductive rights. Harris says while there was a movement on reproductive rights generations ago, now that movement has to pick back up and continue. It is now incumbent on us as the leaders of this moment to pick up that movement and to do what is necessary to reaffirm, regain, and fight for those rights. And so that's where we are. All right, so we'll have more on this dialogue posted online under this story on fox61.com. We're live in New Britain, Raquel Harrington, Fox 61 News.